Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another cocktail episode here at Liquid Memoir. Today is another cocktail request video. And yes, it's another rum cocktail. I hope you don't rum out of this one. Today, we're making probably the most requested cocktail of all time in the channel. The classic Mojite Mojito. The classic Mojito. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, I am only sticking with a classic mojito. I know, I know some of you wanted to see some fruit in it. The reason I'm sticking to the classic is I want you to make the best possible mojito you can from the comforts of your home. Let's get to it. We're gonna build this in a shaker. Actually, this is the authentic Cuban mojito. So we're gonna build this one straight in a highball glass. So grab your highball glass and add half a tablespoon or 11 grams of granulated sugar. Then add 3 quarter ounce or 15 mils of freshly squeezed lime juice. Give your highball glass a bit of a spinning spin. You want to incorporate the sugar and the lime here. Then slap a handful of mint and add it to your glass. Then get a muddler and gently press the mint in your highball glass. What you want here is for the mint to get to know the lime and the sugar. Help them make love to each other in the glass. No need to hurt them. After all that, add ice to your glass. And since this is the Cuban mojito, I'm gonna use real Cuban rum. 2 ounces or 60 mils of Havana Club 3 year. Depending on where you live, it could be a little bit challenging finding Havana Club 3. So, if you don't have it, there are other Caribbean white rums that are similar in style to Cuban rum. Then we're gonna fill the rest of the glass with club soda. I simply use my soda stream for club soda. No need to be fancy here. Use what you got. Then give your cocktail a few stirs, add a mint sprig for garnish, and serve it with a straw. To finish this off, add a few dashes of Angostura bitters. And that's how it's done at Café La Trova here in Miami. And Maestro Cantinero Julio Cabrera also explained that that's how they make mojitos in Cuba. And that's a mojito criollo. Cheers. Now, just so you know, this mojito is very similar to the first one we made. Techniques do differ here. And that can actually make a difference in your cocktail. But I won't judge you if you put fruit in it. So, in a shaker, add a handful of mint. 3 quarter ounce or 15 mils of freshly squeezed lime juice, half an ounce or 7.5 mils of 2 to 1 cane syrup, and 2 ounces or 60 mils of a white rum of your choice. Then add ice to your shaker and highball glass and give this a good shake. Once done shaking, double straight into your highball glass and top this off with club soda. For the garnish, mint sprig is enough. But if you have extra limes, adding a lime wheel is nice as well. And that's a mojito. For the third and final mojito, we're gonna need some mint syrup. Add water to a medium saucepan and bring it to a boil. Meanwhile, prepare an ice bath. And while you still wait for the water to boil, pour yourself a shot of something. I went with some Fernet Branca. Grab your mint and completely submerge it in boiling water for 15 seconds. Then remove and immediately submerge it in an ice bath for one minute. Remove your mint, pat, dry, and give them some love with paper towels. In the meantime, in a medium saucepan, you're gonna combine three quarter cup or 175 grams of filtered water, and then add one and a half cups or 350 grams of granulated sugar. And in medium heat, stir this constantly until the sugar is completely dissolved. Let your 2 to 1 simple syrup cool down to room temperature. Pick all the mint leaves from the stems. In a blender, add your blanched mint leaves and your simple syrup. Blend this on high speed for about a minute or two. Strain this through a cheese cloth, then bottle, label, and refrigerate. Keeps for two weeks. Let's put that syrup to work. In a shaker, add 
three quarter ounce or 22.5 mils of freshly squeezed lime juice. Then add three quarter ounce or 22.5 mils of your delicious housemate mint syrup. Then add two ounces or 60 mils of white rum. I'm using the same rum blend that I use for my daiquiri video. Here's the spec. Grab a chilled double rocks glass and add a bit of crushed ice to your shaker. Don't forget to add your mint to your shaker like I almost did there. Seal your shaker and whip shake until the ice is melted. Once done shaking, pour everything straight in the glass, add crushed ice, add a splash of club soda, give that a stir with your spoon, just lift up the mint from the bottom a little bit, and garnish your drink with a nice beautiful mint sprig. And there you go, a mojito with mint syrup. In order of appearance, mojito criollo, bar style mojito, and a mint syrup mojito. Uh, let's give them all a taste, shall we? Wow. Well, I got mint stuck in the straw. You know, first impression, you get a lot of club soda. I really like the Angostura bitters on this. I gotta give it up to the classic mojito on this one. I thought it was gonna be way too tart because sometimes granulated sugar and lime comes out to be a little bit too tart but it's really well balanced, honestly. It falls slightly flat because of all the club soda, but it's still very delicious. It's a super refreshing, very easy to drink. Yeah, you get a lot more roundness because we're using cane sugar. Cane sugar and rum goes extremely well together. Still very refreshing in comparison to the first one. All right, let's just, Go to the third mojito. This is really nice. The mint syrup actually helps it a whole lot. It gives a different type of complexity. It's delicious. Um, you get a lot more complexity because we use that same rum blend from my daiquiri video. Make sure you check that daiquiri video, it's pretty cool. When you use a lot of crushed ice, it just stays cold. You can notice all the frost in the glass. That's because it's so cold, the cocktail. You get a lot more mint on this one for sure but you still get the mint on uh, across the board. I would say out of all the three ones, you get the mint here the most, but not too far off from the other two, to be honest. What is that? All right, guys, and that is it for this video. Thank you all again for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, uh, share with friends, and let me know in the comments if you have any other cocktail requests that I can possibly make. Make sure you follow me on all socials at Liquid Memoir. And anyways, guys, thanks. thank you all again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.